All right, so here it is, self-powered robot. I've been told I can expect to be able to do the picture procedure with this thing. We'll see how it goes. There you go, there's the box in all its glory. There's the back of the box. Look at all those pieces. That's a lot of pieces. And the front of the box again, just in case you missed it. All right, so when you open it up, you get this bag of parts. They're all in one bag. Oh, that might be some uh, HME in there. Here's some directions. A lot of directions. I thought about throwing these away, but turns out you actually need them. Let's go ahead and open this bag of parts and see what we got. Possible HME. Bunch of pieces. Our battery components and cases, our tires and motor, and another battery. Oh, and an eyedropper. And there's some salt water that I made ahead of time. So that's how you put the wheels on. Pretty straightforward. You just got to make sure you have the motor side correct. And that's how you make the torso. You just snap on the two arms. I had these backwards at first, but that doesn't really matter. So you complete the neck. Not sure why that's a separate part. Uh, just in case you want to pivot the head. Speaking of the head, let's go ahead and pop that on. There it is. Here's where I figured out that I need to read the instructions. Motor pops in easy enough, that's straightforward. Turns out it matters which way you have the terminals. Now that I have read the instructions, here are the terminals arranged the way they're supposed to be. Now these screws are included only so that the robot has eyes. I noticed that a screwdriver wasn't on the list of needed parts. Turns out the instructions tell you to just pop those in. Uh, that's not entirely possible. That's as far as I could get them to go. But I found the appropriate tool for the job in the drawer. There it is. A paring knife used as a screwdriver the way it was meant to be. All right, so the robot's complete. Now we get to assemble the battery. There's the magnesium strip going in the bottom. And the copper plate goes on the top. Next up, there's a tiny, tiny piece of fabric. Yep, yep, real tricky to pick up. There you go. Go ahead and put that on top of your magnesium strip. This does not go together as cleanly as the rest of the robot. There's a scoop. It tells you to use one scoop of carbon, but if you power it up, you get more power. Uh, so I used it sparingly, because who wants more power out of their self-powered robot? Here's me figuring out that you can easily overpower it to the point that you can't close a cartridge. Nope, just not going to go. So let's say, scrape some of that carbon off. There, maybe now it'll work. Nope, not really. But at least he has these convenient side buckles so that we can make it work. So that's our assembled battery ready to be popped into the head of the robot. You can put it in backwards, so you gotta be careful about that. And it neither pops in from the top nor slides in from the front. It's a combination of both. And right when you think you got it popped in there perfect, it turns out you didn't.
Let's see if we can drive this thing. Got our salt water that we pre-mixed ahead of time. It tells you to use as much salt as you can until it stops absorbing into the water anymore. All right, we're all lined up to send it. Some salt water in the battery. Conveniently, an entire page of the instructions is dedicated to troubleshooting. The robot should be driving right now. Let's try more water. Well, that didn't do the trick. Maybe our wheels are stuck and we need to jostle it. Nope, not going. So what I did here is I stopped and I bent the contacts to get them to touch a little bit better. And away we go. It may look like it's moving slow, but it's actually moving slow. Freshened up the battery a little bit. Got it cruising pretty good. It runs for about 10 minutes until it dies. So you actually get enough battery components to run this thing, I think, a total of nine times. The magnesium strips each last three runs, and then you can just clean the copper. If you guys got any questions or comments, please hit me up. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I appreciate your time.